how y'all doing today? It's a beautiful day here in uh, Indiana. Nice weather so far. Well, we got a couple things I'm going to cover today. There's Amy sneaking in here. Um, if we've been so busy around here. It's, it's just crazy around here right now. First thing I want to get to is the uh, giveaway we were going to do. I uh, put all the little names in a hat, drew a name out. And the winner of the jam and jelly, uh, you pick it, is Todd Whitmire, Backwoods Living. Uh, Todd, if you're watching, yay, go ahead and pick from that list or go to the website and pick one out. Let us know. Emails down below. Send us an email for your uh, mailing information and we'll get your uh, jam or jelly out to you as soon as you get us that information. So, way to go, Todd. Yay! I've uh, got to be honest, I hadn't really looked at Todd's channel that much uh, until I drew his name out and I went and looked at it more in depth. He's got a really interesting uh, channel over there. If you're into backwoods living, hunting, trapping, living out in the backwoods, uh, go check him out. He's got some really interesting things over there. So again, Todd, get a hold of us. Get us that mail and we'll get the jammer jelly out to you. Amy's making them right and left right now, so you got a big selection. Of, yeah, she's, whoo, beat. And then another thing got going on right now. It's that time of the week. It's time for a... Shout out. Shout out. This week we're giving a shout out to Homestead, Homestead Tessie. Uh, she's got a really interesting page over there. A lot of videos on frugal living, frugal meals, ways to save money, homesteading. Um, like most of us, we're all a little low on cash. So she's got some really good information on ways to get you by to help you get out and make your homestead a little bit cheaper. So I'll put a link up here, hopefully, to Homestead Tessie. Hopefully it's there. Uh, go over and check her channel out. Subscribe to her. Share her channel. Say hi to her and wish her well with her channel over there. Uh, today, like I said, we're so busy. I'm going to do a little quick tour of a few things we got going on out here. Um, I'll just show you what we're doing. A few simple ways we're trying to save money too. So if you'll bear with me, we'll do a little look around here. As you can see, it's that time of the year to start getting on wood. And that's always a fun thing to do. It's still a little too warm to be doing that, but it's something that's got to be done. So we're busy uh, cutting up trees and splitting wood. Thank, thank God we've got that wood splitter back there. Getting too old to be using them all. As you can see, uh, we've got a lot of propane cans sitting here. I've got to get those into the store to get them filled up. We use these propane cans for both of our stoves and both kitchens. Uh, a way of frugal, speaking of Homestead Tessie, um, I don't know if you guys have tractor supply by you, but most stores want $20, $25 to get a can filled. We take these into tractor supply in the town near us, and they fill the cans for $10. So if you've got a tractor supply around you, you might check with them and see if they run the same prices, because that's half or even more than what the regular stores charge for those. Hi, Lucy. That's Lucy, one of our little dolings. This is a new one we got over here. That's Ethel. Ethel and Lucy. Lucy and Ethel. Get it? Uh, we just picked up Ethel the other day. She's a boar cross. Uh, we got a guy down the road traded us some rabbits for her. So, once again, got something good that we needed. Got rid of some rabbits and didn't cost us a dime something new we're trying here. Somebody gave us a start to a hops plant. So we're going to try and grow hops. Uh, we usually grow cucumbers here, but if we can get these hops to take off, we're going to go ahead and start growing those. Hopefully it works out. So far it's taken off really good. I mean, it was cut off down to the ground and it's probably three to four feet tall now. A while ago uh, at the propane tanks, when I was mentioning tractor supply, uh, we picked this little uh, dandy up at Tractor Supply. You might check out all these stores. They're starting to do their clearance sales, getting rid of all their spring stuff and garden stuff right now. This is about a three foot by eight foot, and it's for helping keep your plants going into the fall and early part of the winter. Uh, we picked this up. It's, like I said, three foot by eight foot, and we got it for ten bucks. So that's a deal you can't beat. Don't know how well it's going to work, but for ten dollars... You can't beat a deal like this, and if it works, it'll be a great deal. That 
compost bin we rebuilt this year. Now we're busy doing our lasagna layering on it, doing leaves, food, grass clippings, all that. Starting to get it filled up to give us our compost for next year. This is a rolling pin I just finished this morning in the shop. Been real busy in the shop getting a bunch of stuff made up for our web page store. Uh, I really like the design on this one, how this one turned out. Amy's been extremely busy in the kitchen. She's trying to stock up on all the jams and jellies she's making. She's just overwhelmed almost to this point. And this is where Amy's been spending most of her time. She's uh, in the office area now printing up labels for some jams and jellies. Uh, once again, big Homestead shout out to Homestead Tessie. Make sure you check her link, go to her page, say hi to her. And Todd Wittenmeyer, Backwoods Living, drop us that address, send it to us, and pick out which jam and jelly you want. This is Jay saying, I got to get the heck out of here and get my rear end back to work. Got way too much work going on. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Please share our page. Go to our uh, web page, go to our store. And hope you all have a good day.